hi i'm so glad that you clicked on this video because today i'll, I'll be showing you a very easy uji recipe that is going to be easy and the outcome is going to be delicious as usual so this is how my wheat flour is looking because making uji you use wheat flour and you'll notice that it's not totally brown because i have several other flours added into my wheat flour so i have cassava sorghum wheat flour and a little bit of maize flour this is going to be maize flour is the one which is usually called baridi <laughs> if you've gone to the kisiagi or the the posho milia you will find that there is a, a a specific maize flour that is called baridi so that usually makes the uji even more delicious so this is what i'm going to be making my uji with so this is what i usually make every day for my children especially the younger ones so before I start, I've already placed a pot of boiling water. I have added two cups to my sulfuria. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, this is how I make my uji, so don't judge. I'm going to add about a cup of water into my bowl. And then I'm going to mix the wheat flour together with the water to combine. Make sure you totally mix the water with the wheat flour. Notice that there are no lamps, so the wheat flour and water is fully combined. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move over to my sulfuria or pot, and then I'm going to add in. So immediately I add my wheat flour into the boiling water. I'm going to stir without stopping until the wheat flour combines with the hot water. This is to avoid lamps. So this is how it's looking so i'm going to stir until my pot comes to a boil i love making uji in the morning because it's very nutritious especially for children and it's also very filling so make a point of making some delicious uji in your house once in a while the kids will surely enjoy even yourself notice how smooth my uji is so at this point because you you'll notice some bubbling i'm going to add in sugar this is about a third cup of sugar stir in let the sugar combine together with the uji and there's nothing fancy about my uji today because it is not fermented it is not traditional it is just basic uji that i make in my house maybe in another video i'll show you how to make sour uji that is usually so delicious so i'm going to let my pot bubble up for around two to four minutes on medium low flame and also you'll add some more water depending on how thick you love your uji if you like the uji thick you can leave it as it is and if you like your uji a little bit runny you can add a little bit uh, like a quarter cup of water or a third cup of water to make it more to make the uji more lighter yeah So after a while this is how my uji is looking so i'm going to add in some butter start in the butter and then i'm going to wait for another one minute the butter is going to add a very nice taste to my uji and it's going to be very delicious check on my uji and it's ready so i'm going to transfer my uji to a flask this is going to keep the uji very hot yeah and this uji is going to make my day because it is very cold <laughs> My uji is ready and it's going to keep me warm the entire morning and i'm surely going to enjoy having my delicious uji so i hope you try out this amazing simple recipe and 
make for yourself some delicious basic hoodie at home.